morning everybody welcome back to the channel the last two weeks have been off and on heavy showers and high winds and as a result we have standing water on some of our heavy land although it does continue to walk well the challenge on the light land that we drilled recently as you can see behind me is that although we've managed to get our pre-emergence herbicides on and got it all rolled uh, we haven't managed to return with an Avidex application. As a result, in a conversation with our agronomist, our combined opinion was that although Avidex works best as a pre-emergence herbicide, because we included glyphosate in a pre-emergence mix, we effectively restarted the clock and that a post-emergence application of Avidex will still offer benefits to the two fields where we have bad black grass infestation. The winter wheat uh, behind me was the second half of our discussion. As you can see, brome is spreading in from the grass margin and into the field, requiring a treatment of Pacifica. However, these conventional winter wheats follow spring oats. There are significant volunteers within the wheat. As a result, we were looking at an application of topic to control oats. However, this brought us into, conf into a timing conflict with plant growth regulator applications that we want to put on now and subsequent fumary weed controls at T1. What we found helpful was looking at the AHDB table of weed yield robbing potential. This helped us to decide whether to control the oats or the fumatory first. We went with oat control. However, this conversation about spending money and stressing the crop I was trying to nurture while controlling weeds felt like a zero-sum game where I was damned if I did and damned if I didn't. It reminded me of a column in the Farmers Weekly by John Palsy in it, John recalled relying on the knowledge of an agronomist as tank mixes became too complicated for the farmer to prescribe in-house. This was the situation I found myself in. If we compare this to my regenerative system where there is minimal post-emergence intervention and most intervention is dictated by nutrition which although complicated the farmer can advise on I certainly feel more in charge of my crop's destiny and less subservient to these conflicting forces and pressure to keep my crop 100% clean. As a result, I find farming regenerative crops far more rewarding during the growing season, even if I'm struggling to come to terms with the yield penalty at harvest. I hope you've enjoyed this week's video. Please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, click on the little bell to get notifications of when our next video goes live. See you next time. Bye.